Today we're going to make some ethnic dishes, including some very interesting eggplant caviar. If you're interested in learning how to make caviar without those fish eggs, stay with us and you'll find out how to do it for yourself. Hello friends and welcome to another program. I'm your host Jill Morricone and we have an exciting program planned for you today with all sorts of ethnic dishes and I'm really excited to learn how to make that caviar without those fish and those eggs. First I want to introduce you to my special guest here with me in the studio. Her name is Marie McCalla. Welcome Marie. We're so glad to have you here. Glad to be back Jill. It's always wonderful to uh, have you as my co-hostess and uh, enjoy being here. That's right. We always have a good time we together do. when we, we cook do. in the kitchen. Yes we do. That's right. Now we're doing different <laughs> ethnic dishes. And your yes. husband is Jamaican. My husband is Jamaican, uh -huh. and so I'm broadening my horizons a little bit. I've never yes. cooked Jamaican food. Yes. I try to have a recipe from various countries okay. so that I can have some mm -hmm. variety. And I'm learning some Jamaican dishes now oh. uh, that I didn't uh, you know, ex experiment with before. That's very special. Now, your mom's German, so you grew up with some German dishes, German right? German dishes, yes. Okay. And I kind of branched out from there, Italian mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then... Uh, uh, perhaps Lebanese and yes. uh, and Chinese. Oh yeah, that's good. So yeah, uh -huh. so uh, and now I'm adding Jamaican to yeah. my list. <laughs> that's <laughs> so pretty special. Well, pretty soon we'll be all around the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's real special. Yeah. Because it saves you from getting bored. It surely does. Yes, mm -hmm. if you can think of a different theme every night, you can practically go to seven countries <laughs> in a week. And then the next week you do add seven more, so right. pretty soon you get 14. Without leaving home. That's mm -hmm. right. That's so it's real fun. Special. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and you've always enjoyed cooking and like mm. to have oh, people yes. over, the yeah. gift of hospitality. And always enjoyed. Um, a number of years ago, while I was working, I mm -hmm. entered a contest. I had made some. A, a dish for my for the staff at the office okay and entered it in the local newspaper and oh, I, I won the grand prize oh. which was really something <laughs> that's special so I that, did not know that, that. was fun now yeah. what was what was the dish that you entered it was a cold rice salad with oranges mm. and uh, um, shallots and water chestnuts Ooh, and uh, things like that that sounds real nice yeah yeah so that was pretty pretty neat yeah absolutely yeah that kind of uh, gave me more uh, enthusiasm to cook that's you right know. that's right yeah that's and, right uh, and so share it with it. other people share that's it with right. other people yeah spurred me on absolutely <laughs> well today we're going to start with our dessert first yes before we, we are. get to our coffee yes we are that's right okay let's read our recipe here for the oatmeal pecan crumb bars you need one and one half cup unbleached flour one and one half cup oatmeal one cup raw brown sugar one half teaspoon salt, three quarter cup margarine, the non-hydrogenated variety, 12 ounces of carob chips, one half cup of chopped pecans, and three quarter cup of fruit juice sweetened raspberry jam. Oh, just the ingredients sound really good, Marie. Well, you they know are. Oh. They are, and you know when this is baking, you can almost not resist it. When I, oh. when I did this, uh, <laughs> tested it before yeah. I came on the program yeah. I had to put it in the refrigerator in the garage because it was too tempting <laughs> in fact I wanted to just give it away that's <laughs> couldn't right couldn't resist oh, absolutely. You know, eating it either you or your husband would eat it or one of the crew here is going to eat it too yeah well we're all going to we're all going to <laughs> that's have that's right so. Okay. so what we're going to do is just incorporate all of these okay. dry ingredients except the nuts okay we we t save those out until the very very end. Now are you using quick oats or for I'm the using oats the or? quick oats. Okay. I, I find that it just um, works better. Okay. I use the regular oats if I'm making breakfast oatmeal. Yes, yeah. that's nice. So absolutely. So um, stir up the dry ingredients Good. so they're all not all lumped together. Yes. And then we um, put in the butter. Ooh, yeah. Or margarine, I should yeah. say. We don't use butter. Yeah, okay. That would be counterproductive. <laughs> huh? So 
and this is going to make like a crumb mixture. Okay. Oh, fun. Matter of fact, I'll need that white bowl, that clear bowl. This bowl back? Mm -hmm. This one here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, very nice. All right. What you do here is, if you really get into trouble with this, mm -hmm. you get in with your hands. That's right. <laughs> and I think we're going to need to do that right that now. Sounds like my kind of cooking. You know, just get in with your hands and have a good time. And we're trying to make crumbs here. Yes. So you you just really want to get this uh, margarine good. incorporated in here. Good. Yeah. And um, I'll get you some paper towels here. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Because this all melts, you see. And, yes. Um, Ooh, that sounds good. And it smells good already, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Absolutely. Would you? Could you use this for crumb topping for a crisp or something as well, you or could, not really? You could use this for all kinds of crisps. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's a, it's a good recipe for that as well. It's, it's a good recipe. Yeah, yes. that's Yes. I I just uh, I love to make crumb crumb toppings yes. for things, but I think that the um, raspberry carob is probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A winner, you know. <laughs> That's right. And now what we're going to do is we'll just kind of um, yes, if you would hand Here me a go. paper towel, that might be helpful. Yeah. Thank Get you. it all over your hands when you work in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, and that's the fun of it. That's right. We're going to just guesstimate about a cup full Kay. here, and uh, that's probably about right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what we do then is. Uh, Add the oh, nuts to that. To that. Because that's okay. going on top. Mm -hmm. That's the crumb topping. Good. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now, we didn't happen to, ha our, our kitchen didn't provide us with a um, 9 by 9 or 10 by okay. 10 pan. So we're going to. We're using uh, a different. We're going to do something here. a little different, okay. but for our viewers, if they have, you know, a, a cake pan or that's a better thing yeah, to use. That's, okay. a, that's a better thing to use. Here so uh, just put the. Um, here, let me hold it. Yeah, please. Original crumb mixture down in here. Okay. Whatever was left, not the cup, but whatever was left right. before that. Okay. And you just uh, pat it down. Oh, fun. Okay. So that it will be firm and it will mm -hmm. give it a, a bottom. Good. And I bet you when you bake it, the butter, the margarine melts. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. That would you make can, a difference. You can be sure of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, and it holds it together better. Nice and crusty. Oh, um, oh yeah. I've sprayed this with Pam. Okay. I think it comes okay. out a little easier. Yes. And then what we do is we spread the jam. Ooh. Look at this. Now you're using fruit juice sweetened jam. I'm not using any sugar okay. in this. Uh, now, we did have sugar in the, uh, but it was the raw sugar. Right. In, in, in the crumb, the crumb. yeah, mm -hmm. and you don't have to uh, worry too much about this because it's going to melt anyway. Yeah, and it'll all good. it'll all go everywhere anyway. Oh, yeah. So, Ooh, very yeah. nice. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? My mouth's starting to water here. <laughs> and when it's baking, it just you know, Jill, anything with raspberry. Yes. How could you go wrong? That's one of your favorite fruits, isn't it? I love it. Yes. <laughs> you'll you'll find me using a lot of raspberry yeah. dishes. In fact, yeah. I'm just not too happy if I don't have raspberries in the house. <laughs> That's right. Okay. okay. And then what we're going to do is sprinkle these on. Okay. It just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> now these are just carrot chips. These are um Right. Non-dairy. Okay. There's no because you have to be careful. Some of them have milk oh, okay. in them. Okay. Okay. So these are the non-dairy. Read so your ingredient label. That's the thing. Always right. yes. And then we just put this crumb mixture on top. Okay. That was the one cup of reserve. Mm -hmm. Good. And with the nuts. Yes. Which gives it so much texture and flavor. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes or until it starts bubbling up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it all melts together. The caramel melts, melts on the together raspberry and on the they, they all. Oh yeah. Just complement each That's other. That's right. Oh, there we go. Nice. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then when it's cool, you take it out of the pan, or when it's warm, how does that work? Well, when it's not quite cold, cold, okay. because it'll cut easier. Yes. So, and then you cut it into bars. Okay. Yeah. So you'd serve it as bars. So you serve it as bars if you have the proper dish. Yeah. Otherwise, okay. you could just even spoon it out. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. That would to me. work too. Any way to I get it in your that. mouth. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, okay, good. Let's go to our next recipe here. For the spinach crepes with mushrooms, you need three quarter cup unbleached flour, one half teaspoon sea salt, two tablespoons cornstarch, one and a quarter cup plain soy milk, one cup frozen spinach that's thawed and drained. 
For the filling, you need three tablespoons margarine, the non-hydrogenated variety, one and a quarter pounds mushrooms, three garlic cloves, three tablespoons flour, six tablespoons soy milk, one quarter teaspoon nutmeg, four to six ounces of vegan mozzarella cheese that's been shredded, and one half teaspoon Italian seasoning. Well, this is a fun variation on crepes. I like this. Yes, and you know, the batter doesn't have any eggs. Have you ever heard of crepes without eggs? That's amazing, huh? And how could mm -hmm. we do that? Yeah. Cornstarch. The cornstarch. The cornstarch. It's going to hold it together. And right? the spinach makes it a green color. Ooh, and they're just so yeah. fresh and beautiful. Yeah, I am sure. So this Let's is quite different, and our viewers will probably say crepes without eggs. <laughs> this is, you we'll know, to see how to do it. the healthy way to do it. So That's right. I hope that everyone uh, who's viewing will try this recipe. That's right. Okay, let's, uh, let's get started with the, um, the blender. Okay. Actually, no, let's put the, um, the We'll start frying. Yeah. Let's let's start to uh, to do these. Okay. You want mushrooms. a spoon? Or are you okay? May I have a spoon? Yeah. Yes. Here you go. Let's do the mushrooms because we can blend that at the very end. Okay. There we go. And we'll do just a couple of tablespoons of uh, oil. Oil. You know, mushrooms um, soak up yes. an awful lot of liquid. Absolutely. So we're just, actually, I think we'll just do half of these because okay. we won't be doing the whole recipe. Okay. Just for the so sake, you can kind of, okay. sake of time. Yeah, yeah we'll Here, set let me get to that. the side. So we'll just get these going. Mm. And they can be yeah. softening up while, um, yeah. and uh, let's incorporate the rest of the ingredients. These the ones? garlic. Here's the garlic. What else do you need? And the seasoning. The nutmeg here. Yeah. And the, there you go. There you go. Good. We won't use quite all of it because Kay. we're not doing the whole recipe. Okay. But I did yeah. put all the garlic in. Yeah. <laughs> got lots of garlic. <laughs> that can never hurt. That's right. Absolutely. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's starting to cook already. Mm -hmm. And mushrooms really cook down when you They when do. You, cook you can them. just start with this whole big tray of right. mushrooms and, and then they go up. down to nothing. Uh, right. Yeah. So, you know, as you're doing this, depending on mm -hmm. how many uh, people you're, you're cooking for, okay. you know, you can just adjust it accordingly. Good. Okay. Okay. So while that's taking care of itself, we're going to start with the batter. All right. And we'll do the... Now, this is soy milk and not yes. real milk. That's right. So that's healthy. And the salt goes in here good. because we have other seasoning in the mushrooms, mm -hmm. so we don't mm -hmm. need that. That's good. And um, the cornstarch. Now this is in this place, is of, in our place egg. of our eggs. Yeah. Well, we'll just use this spoon. Okay. We want to get every, kind of sticky. every bit of it. <laughs> I guess this is this right. is uh, very humid today, huh? Yeah. There we go. Good. And the spinach. Good. Now you're using frozen? I'm using frozen okay. spinach because uh, it just works better for this recipe. Okay. And maybe we'll just blend that a little first okay. and then we'll add the flour. We're going to make some noise here. We won't talk for the moment. <laughs> Okay, Good. now we'll add the flour. Okay. Because you know how blenders get bogged down. That's right, absolutely. So, there we go. You want well, to you know, stir or you to, okay? Uh, yeah, let's give it a stir. Okay. The flour gets kind of stuck there. Even though we floated it on top <laughs> and tried to sneak it in, huh? Basically, though, it's incorporated. Yeah. It's pretty good. We'll just yeah. whiz it around. It's nice and pretty time. green. I like yes, that. Yes, yes. Very oh, nice. And when it's cooked up, yeah. there you it go. will be so beautiful. That's perfectly better. fine. It's huh? mixing better here. There we go. Good. Let's take that spoon yeah. and just uh, 
There. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a lot more mixed. Yep. Yeah, I can see that. Good. Perfect. And that's our batter. Yeah. And uh, now I just think it's so unique to have a green I batter. Like it. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that fun. Yeah. You want this one over here? Yeah. Actually, I think Jill, these are about done. Oh. So now what we need to do long. is uh, we're going to make like a little uh, gravy sauce, oh, okay. and we're going to put the flour in with the Here you go. Um, soy milk. Okay. To thicken it then. This thickens it, and this gets yes. a little tricky. Normally what I would do is uh, get a shaker jar and put this in a shaker jar, but so, I didn't happen to see yes. one. Perhaps I can have a larger bowl. Yeah. Yeah. That How about this good. real big yeah. one? Then you can because, really mix it without fear. Because uh, at home I just put it in a shaker jar. Yes. And it works yeah. out great because we don't want lumps in our. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound too good. <laughs> we just don't want lumps. No. Now you can stir it pretty fast. But this at will least. this will go pretty good. Good. And you know, um, if you don't want flour, but I like flour better for this. Okay. You can use cornstarch, which dissolves oh, it instantly. Does. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can That's do right. that, but. For some reason, I tried, and I, I just like the flavor. You like flavor. the way the flour works. I like the flavor mm -hmm. of the flour better. The flour has more flavor than cornstarch. Yes, sure. it does. Cornstarch does, doesn't really have any flavor, right. and, and flour has a little more hearty mm -hmm. flavor. So. It does. That's right. So what we'll do is we'll just put some in Kay. here, and we'll we'll bypass the lumps. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think we have too many lumps. I hope. And if we get a few, that's okay. We'll just At home, you'd want to whisk it up a little bit better right, than we did now. Right, exactly. And we'll just see if we have enough. Are right, you a wooden spoon or are you okay with that one? I think we're good. Okay. Oh, yeah, it see is how thickening. That's thickening up. Isn't I can that beautiful? I see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so yummy. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Okay. Now, what do we do with this now batter maybe here? We can just put a little bit more of that in here. Okay. You want them a little bit thicker. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, do we have another bowl? We can put the mushrooms in. Yeah. There you okay. go. Okay. See, now they're really adequately thickened oh, because yeah, this is right. our filling and we don't want them to uh, yes. run out. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. And this is nice, too, because all you need is one pan. Yeah. It's nice. And um, you don't have a whole bunch of a, stuff. Could you get a paper towel yeah, for sure. me? You don't have to dirty a bunch of you know, yes, utensils. that's right. Here. Yeah. Okay. Now, for the uh, crepes, yes, we we need adequate oil. Okay. Because there is no egg. Yeah. So we right. don't want them to stick. Good. Here's the oil. So we'll be a little generous with the oil. Okay. Okay. There we go. There you go. And normally about t two ladles. Okay. Mm. We'll make a nice amazing, big one. Yeah. We just need to get this a little bit hotter. Yeah. And uh, and then you would cook it because I want to get to our caviar here. <laughs> yes, we are going to cook this. So you this. would cook it and then you flip it. We cook it and we flip it and okay. it gets lightly golden. Okay. And it's very um, very easy to handle. Good. It doesn't fall apart. Good. Cool. And then we just stuff it with the mushrooms with the mushroom. and fold it over. Okay. And then we sprinkle the uh, soy cheese on top. And that's top. it. You don't bake and it. You bake it for about 15 it. minutes at 350. 350. Oh, yeah. fun. It's really well, we good. We will show you at the end of the program what it looks like when it's all done. But now we're going to go make our eggplant caviar. For that, you need two large eggplants, two and a half tablespoons tahini, three tablespoons sesame seeds, one minced garlic clove, one teaspoon salt, the juice of three lemons, one quarter cup chopped parsley, and two tablespoons olive oil. Well, I'm excited about this, Marie, to learn how to do this without those fish and the egg. Yeah, fish eggs. isn't this wonderful? Oh, I just know you're going to love it. Yeah. And you know, um, they they have that really hearty flavor when you roast them in the oven. 
So you roast them really slowly on a cookie sheet. You're talking about the eggplant. The eggplant, not the fish. yes, okay. not the fish. We, we're going to leave the <laughs> fish where they're we're really happy in the in the <laughs> ocean, huh? Okay. And we're so going to roast the eggplant. the eggplant. Okay. And we, I've already mashed one up, and here's an eggplant, and and you can see how they turn out. Yes. And um, yeah. you bake them for, you roast them for about an hour. An hour. So At what temperature? Again? About 350. You 350. want to do it slowly. Okay. And they're very juicy and yes. very, uh, it, it's it's just a wonderful food. Oh, yeah. And um, so we have a messy job here. We have a messy <laughs> job, and we're just going to take all the peeling Good. off. There's some paper towels. And if you uh, hold it by the stem and don't cut that until you get all the peeling yeah. off, it just makes it simpler. That's very smart. And uh, oh, it's it's really really good. Now, can I ask when you roast it, do you have to turn it part way through that? No. That hour? No. no. It's just, just roast just the let same. them roast. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now Got what we'll do is we'll just cut this off. Okay. And the stem. Um, kind of cut it a little bit before we mash it. Okay. Because it's kind of stringy yes. this way, so you want to cut it against the grain. Okay. And get all that. It's just easier to mash. Yes. Okay. Very nice. All right. I it's like little, eggplant. Here we a go. A little gooey. Yeah. There. Take some paper towels. <laughs> Very good. And we'll just mash this up. You want another one? Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. So you see how easy this oh, goes. Oh yeah, very easy. Uh, eggplant just has a hearty flavor, almost like a, a substitute for meat. Okay. You know, I mm -hmm. use it in a lot. I I uh, nice. I bread it and yes. brown it and uh -huh. use it for a main dish. You know, and of course you can yep. use it in Italian dishes yeah. too. But mm -hmm. um, I think the uh, Mediterranean people oh, yeah. use a lot of Absolutely. eggplant. That's right. But this is just a wonderful dip with uh, you oh, know your yeah. flatbread. Doesn't that sound okay. good? Oh, now yeah. this is um, tahini, yes. which is your uh, sesame butter. Yeah, it's and just sesame seeds, really. Just sesame mm -hmm. seeds that are so blended they, mm -hmm. they turn into a, a creamy butter. That's right. And we also add lemon juice, which is another thing they use in a lot of yes, Middle Eastern cooking. Yes, that's right. And lots of garlic. Yeah. <laughs> You'll want to chew, we your, get our garlic here. chew your parsley after this. <laughs> and just a little salt. Okay. Oh, I think this got wet. That's okay. It's sticky there. I think we dribbled some lemon juice. Oh, in there. okay. And then these are the whole sesame seeds. Yes. So okay. we put those in for texture. So we use them well. both, really. Mm -hmm. We use yeah. the tahini and the sesame mm -hmm. seeds. It That's gives good. it a little crunch. Oh yeah. And sesame seeds are so good for you. Very they have nice. a lot of vitamins. Yes. That's good. Mm. My That's sister's good. husband is Romanian and she makes a lot of eggplant Ooh, dips and stuff. Because yes. in Romania they do that same type right, of thing. Right, right. They use eggplant yes. a lot. So I'm sure yeah. our uh, one of our uh, cameraman here is Romanian. Yeah, the, our director's yeah. Romanian. Our director. That's right, Joseph. Mm -hmm. That's so right. <laughs> he'll be able to relate to this dish. That's huh? right. He can enjoy the eggplant. <laughs> right. So this is for you, Joseph. <laughs> and we're going to just drizzle just a little bit because we're going to drizzle on the top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Whoa. this is basically what it ends up. Very nice. As and. Um, now we don't have to cook it anymore. This is it. We, we don't have to cook okay. it. This is it. And and the roasting is just. I just encourage uh, our viewers to roast it rather than okay. than boil it. it the just, eggplant just gives it a better flavor. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It just has a more hearty flavor. That's right. Yeah. I think roasting all vegetables is good. Very good. I love you know, to roast I like, vegetables. Yeah. Now yeah. what do we do with the the oil? We're and We're going the to top parsley. that off. Um, at the finished product. Okay, so we don't use it yet. You get to see it in a few minutes. Right. right. <laughs> okay. When we present the, the final product. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're, we gotta wait on that one then. Yeah. And you would use it with like bread, crackers for a dip? We're or going something? to present it with flatbread. Fun. And uh, which we can dip with and, and eat like that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That sounds very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Very very hearty. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just good. That's right. And it's such mm -hmm. a nice substitute for those fish eggs and stuff. You know, yeah. using this eggplant. I like that. And we, it's got you know, the fish would be much happier keeping their oh, yeah. eggs intact. <laughs> That's right. And swimming. That's right. <laughs> oh well, thank you for coming today. Well, it was a pleasure being here. We had a good time. Yes, we did. We always have fun in the kitchen when we get to cook together. Yeah. In just a moment, friends, we want to show you our final products, all the things that we made here today, and you'll get to see that dip as well. But first, we want to recap those recipes for you, and then we will be right back. 
We hope you've enjoyed cooking with Marie. Now let's take a moment to review her ethnic variation recipes. For the oatmeal pecan crumb bars, you will need one and a half cup unbleached flour, one half cup of oatmeal, one cup raw brown sugar, one half teaspoon salt, three fourths cup of margarine, 12 ounce carob chips, one half cup chopped pecans, three fourths cup fruit juice sweetened raspberry jam. For the spinach crepes with mushrooms, you will need three fourths cup unbleached flour, one half teaspoon sea salt, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one and one fourth cup of plain soy milk, one cup frozen spinach thawed and drained. For the filling, you will need three tablespoons of margarine, one and one fourth pounds of mushrooms, three garlic cloves, three tablespoons flour, six tablespoons of soy milk, one fourth teaspoon nutmeg, four to six ounces of vegan shredded mozzarella cheese, and one half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. For the eggplant caviar, you will need two large eggplants, two and one half teaspoon tahini, three tablespoons of sesame seeds, one garlic clove, minced, one teaspoon salt, juice of three lemons, one fourth cup chopped parsley, and two tablespoons of olive oil. If you would like more information on how to contact Marie, or if you would like to receive today's recipes, please write to 3ABM, Post Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, or you may phone call us at 1-800-752-3226. Welcome back, friends. We're here with our delicious spread of food, aren't we, Marie? Oh, wow. You know, I'm even pleased. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. If the cook's pleased, it's good. The food's oh, good. Let's look at what we made great. here today. Well, we have the spinach crepes, and the yes. batter, of course, doesn't have any eggs. Yeah. And, and it's so much more colorful. They're and, gorgeous. And, and healthy. Do you know and that? They, they are delicious. Absolutely. And we can't wait for our viewers to try That's them. That's right. Yeah. And then we move to our eggplant caviar. This is eggplant caviar, and it's nice. simply delicious. And we've. Um, with the little flatbreads. We've complemented it with the I flatbread, love that. or you can use pita bread, right. or any kind of hard That's bread. That's right. Whatever you know, pleases you. Then we went to our dessert. Ooh. And the dessert, those raspberry bars are. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, now, yeah. actually, I didn't have a large pan, so uh -huh. they're a little, you know, a they're little They're a little runny, taller than they're, they're supposed to be. They're a little taller, but uh -huh. we can certainly spoon them. Absolutely. <laughs> it's such a, it's a meal fit for a king. <laughs> or well, a queen, in this case. We, we won't miss a thing here, will we? <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you for coming. We had such a good time. Oh, thanks for having me again. We always have fun when we cook We together. had a great day. We hope our friends at home, that you had just as much fun as we did. We hope that you enjoy these recipes, that you try them. Try something new. Try something ethnic, and we will see you next time on Let's Cook Together.